Welcome to L.A. Foodie. This is Drew and Ben, the food dudes. We're looking for the best eats in L.A. and usually finding them. On today's show, we get cool in the house with our guest, the world's only white male comedian, Jason Horton. Plus, we talk egg creams and barbecue and tell you which sauce to put on both. And Lisa stops by with whatever's piquing her Pinterest. So order me one of those while you're at it, will you? Because there's all that and more coming up on L.A. Foodie. Thanks for listening to and watching L.A. Foodie. Um, if you dig what you see, click the subscribe button right here. And if you do, Ben and I will take a shot right now. Do it. So do it. Do it. I Have mean, you done I'm it yet? Right here. Okay. All Cheers right. to you. Cool. Thanks, man. Whoa. Top of the show. I just want to tell everybody, remind yeah. everybody yeah. who already knows, tell everybody who doesn't. Uh-huh. Store.lafoodie.com. Um, yeah, we sell T-shirts. When you buy one, we get a few bucks. There's it's so a much, nice way. So to much support. more than T-shirts now. Well, what else is in there, Ben? You got mugs. You got mugs. aprons. There's you got aprons. Hats. It's All food-related <laughs> apparel, <laughs> yeah. plus T-shirts yeah. and stuff for the ladies. That's right. Oh yeah, you got the men's shirts. You got the ladies' shirts. You got a lot of ladies' shirt options right. actually. Men's, you have like three. So, <laughs> but, but they're cool guys. Yeah, they're not mean, branded. Yeah. There's no. Uh, Website address or anything, they say yeah, yeah. iBurger LA, and they're yeah. super cool. It's kind of fun. So. All right. Now let's talk about food. Okay. I had an egg cream for the first time for ever. The first time ever? Yeah. I never had one before. And right. uh, I guess we can tell which one of us lived in New York for a long time. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was at Langer's. Uh, okay, Delicatessen, sure. right. of course, yeah. on yeah. Alvarado, uh-huh. downtown uh, near MacArthur Park. Right. I took the train. The brand new Exciting. Expo line. If yeah. you haven't seen the Expo line podcast, it's a badass podcast. It took us forever to make, and it's yes. it's actually it's really tough. good. Um, and there's good advice, I hope. Hey, you know what? I actually was hanging out with people last night that I was meeting for the first time, and they were like, hey, we actually listened to the Expo line podcast, and we rode the Expo line, got off at uh, Mercado La Paloma. Ah, nice. Got their munchies on there, and it was delicious. That's of awesome. Course. So All right. Well, exciting. so you take the Expo line to the Purple yeah. Line. It's just I think it's two stops uh, from 7th okay. Street yeah. uh, Metro Downtown Station. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like steps from Langley. Yeah, I was going to say, it's really, really close. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is kind of nice if you're not a huge fan of strolling around the old MacArthur Park neighborhood. But, you know, if you're in MacArthur Park, like I was telling you, they just figured out under, under the, the bridge, bridge under the bridge downtown, is in MacArthur Park. So you can go visit that very quickly, maybe, and kind of hightail shoot it out up. of there. I don't know. Yeah, Get shoot out up. There. Yeah, some heroin yeah. if you're into that. Uh, but I had the egg cream at Langer's. Um, there's neither egg nor cream in an egg cream. Right. Uh, it's made, I think, always, but I'm sure there's variation somewhere, okay. with uh, a flavor syrup, mm-hmm. soda water, and mm-hmm. milk. And yeah. one of the reasons that it's never been bottled very well, according to Wikipedia, uh-huh. <laughs> is because you can't froth it up quite right on the spot that makes sense uh so it's been a deli favorite there are some theories that i'm not going to go into now <laughs> check out wikipedia <laughs> on egg cream because okay. they actually are kind of right. interesting how the name maybe came about uh but i was a little disappointed i mean if you okay. hear soda water milk and syrup and you think I mean, well that whoa. sounds like kind of gross and watered down you'd be Pretty close. It is a little gross that it's kind of watered down. Do, it, I do feel like it's kind of a holdover. Yeah. You know, from like the old soda fountain days. Right. Sort of we jerk, have good stuff sort of, now, people. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, can, we improved on the egg cream. There's a reason. I think the real reason it's not getting bottled is maybe <laughs> it's just not that many not people that asking that for spectacular. Egg yeah, everybody has one and they're kind of yeah. like, oh, okay. All right. Well, all Although right. I do know people that are aficionados, to oh. say the least. About it, maybe oh. it's a nostalgia thing. I, I mean, know. if you know a place to get a better egg cream than, than Langer's, Langer's in LA, please let us know. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. go have the real deal because I, I don't mean to trash talk something that I haven't had the best of. I, I've and had I don't want to trash talk Langer's either. Oh no, absolutely not. No, <laughs> maybe they're making like the ideal one. Yeah, and it's just not your thing. Yeah. yeah. So it's my one egg cream. I can't recommend the egg cream at Langer's. I feel like, uh, based on that one, I can't recommend sure. it in general. But I know some of you must love these things. So, you know, where do you get yours, I guess? Yeah. But at Langer's, obviously, you can recommend. I well, mean, the, what did you have? The pastrami and the... Well, you know, the number 19. You can hardly 19, resist sure. it. We were right. at a table of folks. We got egg salad sandwich. Delicious. We got the Never number 19, okay. which is the pastrami, mm-hmm. the hand-cut thick pastrami right. Right. Uh, with... Uh, 
Well, I don't think they serve it with the nippy cheese. I think it might be served. Anyway, the, the nippy cheese is the sort of like cheese. the house cheese. Oh, all right. But it's okay. a pastrami sandwich with coleslaw. Yeah. It's got Thousand Island on it. It's okay. freaking delicious. It's on their double-baked rye bread. Crazy good. Got uh, chopped liver sandwich. Uh, How was that? I am not nearly as big a chopped liver fan as my wife. Yeah. No, Lori she likes the chopped liver. Loves, she likes she yeah. likes the innards. She likes she, the, the sweet but meats. But Langer's yeah. is, you know, it's a it's a good version of that. Yeah. And I, I've had a lot. Just I mean, I'm not surprised. I, mean, I split it with Lori sometimes, and uh, you, you can do a lot worse than Langer's. But, you know, number one, if you've never been there, get there. And number two, if you haven't had the egg cream, uh, if you have had the egg cream at Langer's, and you've also had an egg cream elsewhere, I'm kind of curious <laughs> how that one stacks up. It's true, yeah. Tweet us or something, won't, yeah. won't you? LA Foodie? Yeah. Uh, well, this week, I went to Smoke City Market. Yeah, Saturday. I didn't get to go with you. Yeah, it's a, it's in the valley, you know, it's... Uh, it's a pretty good barbecue joint, guys. Texas I mean, barbecue, Texas right? Texas-style barbecue. You, uh, is it's it sauce generally... on the table. It's all dry rub. The sauce is there on the table, so it's not... Are they, do they say it's Tyler, Texas, or are they just Texas-style I don't know barbecue? if they were that specific, but though they do ship in, like, the sausages. I know they actually bring in from Texas and stuff like that. So they do... They have a real... And I think maybe the wood... They have a very strong connection. We have, we have a whole okay. photo gallery. You can check it out on Flickr and stuff. They had the whole thing. But, okay, uh, cool. Uh, but I'll tell you. I mean, they had the brisket really good. And, the brisket uh, is the barometer. The brisket's right? really good. Yeah, I mean, because uh, if the brisket yeah. is dry or tough, then yeah. you're just like, eh, you didn't try. Brisket, yeah, because I feel like I mean, I have never ma- prepared brisket myself. Brisket is Texas barbecue, right? According to what I've been told, yeah, is that like if you got to pick one thing, it's brisket, right? right? Like when we went to Franklin Barbecue in Austin, yes, the place where. This place, you got to line up. They open up at Franklin. ten in the morning, it, and everybody's lined up way before that, getting ready because there's only the, they only serve till they run out of meat. Which I normally call out as bullshit, by the way. Yeah, but this it b- is just legit because yeah. there is a finite amount of barbecue there, and it is something to it's, get excited. It's about. It's all good. Yeah. So I mean, if you're in Austin, <laughs> go to Franklin Barbecue. But we're not in Austin. We're in Los Angeles. So let's talk about doesn't stack up to Franklin. I well, no, it's not Franklin. <laughs> let's let's be fair. Yeah. To, yeah, no, Franklin's the best brisket maybe I've ever had. So it's not that, but it is pretty good. So if you're got a hankering for some Texas style brisket, you want to head up there. What was actually kind of surprising uh, was the pastrami. They have a pastrami. It was delicious. Yeah, it, that was my favorite thing they had. It was great. You were raving about the pastrami. The interesting yeah. thing about Pastrami, it, I, to those who don't know, pastrami mm-hmm. is beef brisket. And yeah. actually, barbecued brisket, corned beef, and pastrami are all very similar. They're all a brisket of beef. Right. Um, pastrami is particularly appropriate for barbecue joint mm-hmm. because pastrami is peppered and smoked corned beef, basically. Right. So, yeah. See, I just I just never had it at a barbecue joint. No, I haven't know, either. And but it just it, I was it like, oh. fits perfectly, and yeah. it makes me wonder why I never have. Kind of. I know. I, I didn't really understand. But now that I've had it there, I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Because so it's that's kind the of pastrami coming from like a Texas sort of angle, which I guess I haven't really had. Yeah. And that was delicious. All and right. also, I would recommend the jalapeno cheddar sausage. Oh, all also right. Also quite tasty. And the pecan pie at the end of it. <laughs> so Pecan pie. Go to Smoke good. City. Smoke it's, City it's is worth going pretty to. Pretty tasty. Yeah, I mean, the I, thing to get is the pastrami. I'm gonna have to start ranking barbecue places in town. Well, uh, it's mm. almost as though we're gonna have to do a barbecue show, Ben. Oh my god, we probably are. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll, we'll get to the that nice part is yeah. the nice part is yeah. there's not gonna be a link here, not yet. No, but someday, one of these days, there's gonna be a link right yeah. here. <laughs> To, to the barbecue to the episode. Barbecue episode. Oh, we will do. I swear. love it too. It's going to be great. Actually, one last thing before we introduce our guest okay. today. Uh, today, I'm just drinking, you know, some Sam Adams Summer Ale. I don't know what uh, you, you know, have don't, over here. Don't, don't shake it off. Sam Adams makes a good beer. I mean, beer, I like but, it. Yeah, no. But I mean, there's something that we like even more, which is local beer. Yeah. I would love to have local beers in here. So if you're a local brewmaster, you have a yeah. You're brewing your own stuff over here. I, don't, I mean, I, I know plenty this of places. This actually even that goes out to, to fans, by the way. Or fans, yeah. Places we would that we love should have to try some of your homebrew. We drink oh, beer. Yeah. We drink beer on every episode of the podcast. Yeah. And we're usually drinking, you know, like Sam Adams or something. You know. uh, but what we would much rather have is somebody that brews locally. So yeah. I'm looking at you, Golden Road Brewery. I'm looking at uh, you, The Brewery. brewery. <laughs> uh, you I'm know, Bootleggers or all, all kinds of stuff. There's so many breweries in town. Please let us know. Uh, tweet us at LA Foodie, all that kind of stuff. We would love to have it on the show. Just because I like to drink your stuff. Anyway, all right. So. Uh, now's the time. Now's the time. Isn't it? It's time to meet today's guest. Bye. 